Hello and welcome to this video NLP and hypnosis tip. I'm Keith Livingston. Today's subject is can I fix myself? Now I'm a big believer in self-help and I'm a big believer in thinking outside the box too. One of the best ways to solve challenges you're having is to think outside your box. Sometimes it's difficult to recognize the box you've built for yourself though. We often mistake our limiting beliefs or boxes for reality. Here's what to do. A lot of times people ask me whether or not they should tackle a particular issue themselves. Here, we'll talk about when it's useful to work on yourself, what issues you can deal with yourself, and when it might be a good idea to go to a professional hypnotherapist or NLP practitioner. I personally don't think it matters so much what the problem is. To me, the important factor is whether or not you can get out of your own mental and emotional space in order to find solutions. Here's what I mean. Where we're stuck in life most likely has to do with our constellation of beliefs, feelings, and abilities related to that context. Let me give you an example. Here's an email a friend of mine received about a guy, I'll call him Sam, who'd been having problems finding a relationship. Sam said, I've tried everything multiple times, but I just can't seem to get a woman to go on a date. I'm 38 now and feel hopeless when it comes to meeting women. I've tried asking more than 15 women out on dates and none has said yes. They all make excuses. Am I so unlikable? No matter how many times I try, it doesn't work. I tried online dating services and it doesn't work. I'm a good guy and I'm what you might call average looking, but I gave up on the idea of meeting a woman years ago because women just don't seem to like me. I don't have any problem approaching women and asking them out, but they always turn me down. It seems to be an impossible situation. Now, most people would give this guy advice about what to do. But let me ask you this. How likely is he to succeed with his current attitude, beliefs, and the feelings he has about meeting someone? How likely would any advice be to get through to him? Now, what does all this have to do with self-help? Well, you can do affirmations, for instance. But if you have a belief that runs counter to those affirmations, you'll be fighting an uphill battle. The fellow I mentioned could stand in front of a mirror and say, every day in every way, I'm getting better and better and better at meeting women. His mind would then answer back, dude, you know that's impossible. The problem comes when your goals go against beliefs you have inside you. With hypnosis, what we want to do is bypass the part of the mind that evaluates whether something is true or not and get the messages to the part of the mind that's responsible for maintaining our beliefs. If we can get the message past the analytical gatekeeper and get the mind to accept it, we've taken a big step. If a person can do that in self-hypnosis, then self-help will probably do the trick. But if you're using a self-help technique and you can't get out of your own way, then you might want to consider some professional help. In other words, if you find yourself defaulting back to old patterns, beliefs, and feelings, what you're doing probably isn't working. Also, a pro can help you recognize beliefs that are getting in your way that you may not even realize you have. And professionals might have multiple techniques for changing patterns. And that's good, because different things work for different people. Now there's one caveat. There are cases when you should consider talking to a doctor or a mental health professional before you start a self-help regimen. As an example, insomnia can be caused by an underlying medical condition and it would be best to rule those conditions out or treat them before deciding to go the self-help route. This is Keith Livingston. This has been another video NLP and hypnosis tip. Visit hypnosis101.com for more just like it. We'll see you there. Bye-bye for now.